Hello and welcome to the section in which you will learn what a circular linked list is. Now that you know what a singly linked list and a doubly linked list is, your circular linked list is an extension to both of them. Now we have two types of circular linked lists. The first type is called the circular singly linked list and the second type is called the circular doubly linked list. Now in this section we will be performing a circular singly linked list. We will write all the methods for a circular singly linked list and then I'll tell you what a circular doubly linked list looks like and you could try and solve that on your own. Now in case you're unable to solve it, don't worry I have attached all the necessary code and I'm always available at the Q&A section. So let's start with our first lecture in which we construct a circular singly linked list. To construct a circular singly linked list, let's first take a singly linked list. We have a list with three nodes, John as the head node, Ben as the second node and Matthew as the last node. Now one of the limitation of a singly linked list was not being able to go back to the previous nodes. Now a circular singly linked list helps us overcome that problem to a certain extent. From the last node of a singly linked list, we establish a connection back to the head node. So in case you wanted to revisit some of the earlier nodes, from your last node you now have a connection back to the head node. Now this connection is in a circular order, from the head node you have a connection all the way to last node, from last node you have a connection back to the head node and hence the name a circular linked list. Let's take a look at the program logic. We first need to traverse the list till the last node and then from the next of last node we establish a connection to the head node. Let's write a python program for this right away. I have my text editor open. Let's save this file as a Python file. Let me name it as circular sll.py which stands for a singly linked list. Now let's create a node class for this like how we had done for our singly linked list. It will have an init method which accepts the data part of it and we initialize data of this node. So that's self.data equals data and the next pointer is self.next equals none. Now similarly we will have a class for linked list. Now the init method of our linked list class will initialize the head node to none. So that's self.head equals none. And now let's have an insert end method for our circular singly linked list. This accepts a new node. So let's first create few nodes for this. Let me call it node one. The data John as the head node. Similarly, node 2 with the data Ben. And finally, node 3 with the data Matthew. So now we need to have a linked list to link all these nodes up. So let's create an object for the linked list class. And our linked list class will have insert end methods to insert all of these nodes. So let's insert the first node and let me copy and paste this for two other nodes. So that's node 3 and node 2. And our linked list class also needs to have a print list method to print all the nodes. So now in our insert end method, we first check if our head node is empty. Now in case our head node is empty, our new node becomes the head node. So your self.head will be new node. Now since this is a circular singly linked list, the last node's next pointer will point back to the head node. Now the new node whichever you're inserting at the end will be your last node. So new node dot next will point back to the head node. Now of course in this particular case we just have one node. You will see the difference when we add more nodes to this. So we have now added John and once we do this we can return. Now for the next node, the node with the data Ben, when we try to insert this node we need to traverse till the end of the list. So let's make use of a temporary node to traverse the list. It starts from the head node. Now in a singly linked list, we identify the last node as the last node's next being none. Now in a circular singly linked list, the last node's next points back to the head node. So our while condition should be while our current node dot next is not self dot head. Now if this was not a circular singly linked list, if it was just a singly linked list, our last node's next would be none. Since it is a circular singly linked list, our last node's next points back to the head node and that's how we identify it. So until then we traverse the list, we advance our current node. And once this loop breaks, we are at the last node. Now from this last node, we establish a connection to the new node. And from the new node's next, 
we establish a connection back to the head node since this is a doubly linked list. Now let's have a new method to print this list. But before that, let's just make sure that everything is happening properly. So first we have the list John and then Ben is being added. And now the next of Ben points back to John and this continues. Now we identify the end of the list as Ben pointing to John. So we break this connection and we make Ben point to Matthew and Matthew points to John and the list continues. So now let's write a method for print list. Now while traversing the list, we need to be really careful with the condition which we provide. In case anything goes wrong in this statement, your circular singly linked list will run in an infinite while loop since both the ends are connected. So let's traverse this list now. Let's make use of a temporary node. Let me call it current node equals self dot head and let's have an infinite while loop. Now within this while loop, we print the data at the current node. So that's current node dot data and then we advance to the next node. So let's have our list here. We have John, Ben, Matthew and the next of Matthew pointing to John. So initially we start from John, we print John, we advance the list to Ben, we print Ben, we advance the list to Matthew, we print Matthew and now when we advance the list it goes back to John and this runs in an infinite while loop. So we need to have a statement to check where we need to break this while loop. So if your current node dot next is self dot head then that means we are repeating this list once again and we can break from this loop. So now let's save and execute this program to see if we have successfully been able to construct a circular singly linked list. Let's open our terminal and it's Python 3 if you are on Mac or Linux and PY if you are on Windows space circular singly linked list dot PY and we have an error that says self dot head equals none in line number eight. So let's correct that this yeah, that was a typo. So let's save this file once again and try. And this time we see that we have been successfully able to print John, Ben and Matthew. Now to make sure that there is a connection from Matthew to John in our print list method, when this loop terminates, our current dot next points to self dot head. So once we break the loop, let's advance that node once again. So that's current node equals current node dot next, which means Matthew should now advance to John and let's print the data at current node to make sure that's working. So print current node dot data and now let's execute it once again. So now you see that we have John, Ben, Matthew and the next of Matthew is once again pointing to John because of which we were successfully able to print John. So that's the end of this lecture. You've learned how to insert a new node at the end of a circular singly linked list. I'll see you in the next lecture where you will learn how to insert a new node as a head node in a circular singly linked list. I'll see you there. Thank you.